Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning into this session on keeping your users secure and productive with Microsoft 365 applications. My name is Sriram and I'm a program manager in the Office security team. In this session, I'll start with a quick look at how the way we work has transformed in recent times and the security challenges that have been magnified as a result of this transformation. I will then illustrate three ways in which Microsoft 365 applications help you tackle these security challenges. With Microsoft 365, we are always striving to provide you with the capabilities that help you be most secure and compliant. We enable this through multiple investments that span protecting your users from cyber attacks to protecting your data from disclosure. In this session, we'll take a look at some of the new capabilities that we've shipped recently or we will be shipping that can help you keep your users secure and productive. We are all living in an unprecedented time. The pandemic has affected almost all aspects of our life, including how we work. Businesses that have been at various stages of their digital transformation have had to accelerate these efforts overnight to keep their workers and the general community safe. Now, Microsoft 365 applications have played a crucial role in enabling this transformation by allowing users to get up and running no matter where they are. But this rapid transformation has also accelerated security challenges. Users and the devices where they now do their work are the new security perimeter. And as users work from home, the lines start to further blur between what is work and what is home. Whether it be working on an important presentation for work or printing out a homework assignment, all of these activities are now happening on the same device. And what's more, this device may not be managed by you. Attackers are also evolving their techniques to target unsuspecting users to exploit their fear and uncertainty given the current times. The many instances of COVID-themed malware campaigns are good examples of this. And now more than ever, you have to secure your users without impacting their day-to-day -day productivity. Now, Microsoft 365 apps can also play a crucial role in these security efforts in three ways. By enabling security mitigations by default when your users use Microsoft 365 apps, by providing you with the controls to deploy security policies to your users no matter where they are, even if they are on a device that you don't manage, and finally, enabling integrated protection by leveraging the rest of the Microsoft Threat Protection Stack to give your users advanced protection against attacks that only Microsoft can offer. Let's start by looking at security mitigations that are on by default when users keep Microsoft 365 applications up to date. With Microsoft 365 applications, we are on a constant journey to improve security by one, making sure new features that get shipped are both secure and compliant through a rigorous security assurance process, and two, by shipping functional improvements to features that are already available to customers in response to the current threat landscape. Now, these functional improvements go beyond the security patches we ship every month to users, and they can be subtle if not invisible to users, but can have a huge impact in the face of an attack. One such functional improvement that we will be enabling by default is runtime scanning of Excel 4 or XLM macros through the anti-malware scan interface. Now, Excel 4 or XLM macros are a legacy extensibility technology supported in Excel that predates VBA and allows users to package code in an Excel document to extend its functionality. As detections and mitigations improved to counter the threat of VBA macros, Attackers have pivoted to using XLM macros as an alternative to target users of Office. Here's an example of a campaign from earlier in the year that targeted multiple businesses with malicious documents that contained XLM macros and used a specific file format, SLK file or Silk files. SLK is an old file format supported by Excel but is not very commonly used. Now remember this example because I'll come back to it later in the session and show you how you can intelligently deploy policies that can both block macros from executing in Excel, as well as block users from opening old file types like SLK if they're not commonly used within your enterprise. 
One of the key techniques employed by attackers when using macro-based malware is obfuscation, which allows an attacker to create multiple variants of macros that essentially do the same thing and also hide the macro source code in creative places to evade static analysis and dynamic detonation. Runtime scanning of macros through the anti-malware scan interface is a powerful mitigation that we shipped for VBA a few years back. We are now bringing that same capability to scan XLM macros. Here's a quick overview of how runtime scanning of XLM macros works. As Excel executes an XLM macro, it instruments its behavior, in other words, what the macro is trying to do at runtime, into a behavior log. When certain high-risk activities are observed, called triggers, Excel halts the execution of the macro and shares this behavior log with the installed antivirus on the system through the anti-malware scan interface, or AMZ. Now, this behavior log allows the antivirus to look past the obfuscation and evasion tricks employed by the macro and get a clear picture of what it's trying to do on the system. Now, an attacker may try to generate hundreds of versions of a macro that essentially does the same thing. But as long as the behavior stays the same, antivirus only needs one signature to catch all these variants. Now, once the antivirus detects malicious activity from the behavior log, it notifies Excel. And Excel, in turn, notifies the user and closes the document to prevent any further damage. Now, let's look at a quick demo of this in action. I'll show you how AMZ integration in Excel can help protect users from malicious, obfuscated XLM macro. In the example here, the user has received a file that claims to be a financial report, but in reality is a piece of malware that uses XLM macros. The user is suspicious of this file and tries to do the right thing and scan it with the local antivirus on their system, in this case Defender. When they go to observe the results of the scan, they see that there are no threats detected. This is because the macro in this document has been obfuscated to evade static signature-based detections antivirus typically employs when scanning the contents of a file. The user is feeling a little more confident and tries to open this file in Excel. When they do, they see the phishing lure that we in security are familiar with. There are instructions in this file asking the user to click through security warnings to let the macro run. The user goes ahead and clicks enable content. But when they do, they immediately see a notification from Excel that malicious macros have been detected. This is a result of AMG verification of the macro at runtime. As the macro executes, Excel observes what the macro is trying to do at runtime. And when suspicious activity is observed, Excel halts the execution of the macro and passes this information to antivirus. This allows the antivirus to look past the obfuscation and detect the malicious activity and notify Excel. Once the user clicks OK, Excel closes the document for it to be handled by the installed antivirus appropriately. Now, the attacker may try to produce many variants of this obfuscated macro, but as long as its behavior remains the same, antivirus only needs one signature to detect all these variants. And that is the power that AMZ helps unlock for defenders. We will be enabling AMZ integration for Excel for macros very soon, so stay tuned. This is just one of the examples of the many security improvements that are constantly in progress to keep users safe. Where all your users have to do is keep their Microsoft 365 applications up to date. Now let's look at how you can configure your Microsoft 365 applications to keep your users safe from attacks. Microsoft 365 applications support a rich set of security policies. However, these traditionally needed to be deployed via group policies which required your users to be on machines that are joined to your domain. Now, this may not be easy or even possible in the current work environment. In addition to security policies, Microsoft also publishes security baselines that provide a good starting point in your configuration efforts. But these leave much of the heavy lifting of figuring out what is best for you up to you. In the last year, we introduced two new cloud-based services Office Cloud Policy Service and Security Policy Advisor that transform policy management for Microsoft 365 applications. 
which now more than ever can be key solutions in your strategy to secure your users. Security Policy Advisor provides tailored recommendations with rich supporting data for high value security policies that can be deployed to protect your users from attacks. With Office Cloud Policy Service, you can deploy these security recommendations to your users with a click of a button. And once deployed, you can continue to monitor the health of these policies and stay confident that they are not impacting your users' productivity. Since release, we've added the ability for administrators to choose the types of recommendations they want to see and have made numerous infrastructure improvements that drastically improve the time to detect productivity impact at close to real time so you can stay confident about the security recommendations that you've deployed to your users. Here is a quick overview of how Security Policy Advisor and Office Cloud Policy Service work. As your users use Microsoft 365 applications, whether at work or at home, Security Policy Advisor analyzes how they use these applications, specifically which functionality they most commonly use and which ones they rarely or never use. Based on this usage, Security Policy Advisor generates tailored recommendations for groups of users that you would like to deploy policies to. For example, if a users in a particular group, say HR, don't use macros at all, Security Policy Advisor will recommend that you disable macros for this group of users. And with Office Cloud Policy Service, you can now deploy these security recommendations as policies to your users with a click of a button. But what's more crucial is when a user in one of these groups moves to a new device, let's say the one they use at home, as soon as they sign into the Office client with their work account, those same policies now flow down to this device without any preconditions. The device does not have to be enrolled or need to be part of your domain. This is a crucial capability that enables you to enforce the right security behaviors when your users are using Microsoft 365 applications, no matter where they work. Now let's jump into a demo where I show you how you can discover and deploy security policies that protect your user from attacks like the example I highlighted before that used XLM macros and the SLK file format. In this demo, I'll show you how you can use Security Policy Advisor to discover high value security policy recommendations that you can deploy to your users to protect them against attacks that use vectors like macros or uncommon file types like SLK. I'll also show you how you can deploy these policy recommendations to Office clients on any device, whether the device is joined to your domain or not. And finally, I'll show you how you can keep track of a policy's health and impact once it has been deployed through Security Policy Advisor. You can get started with Security Policy Advisor by going to config.office.com, which is the modern Office Client Administration Portal. From the homepage, you can follow the link to Security Policy Advisor. The first step is to enable Security Policy Advisor by enabling this toggle, which has already been done for this demo. Before you can receive recommendations, you will need to create a policy configuration that is targeted at a group of users within your tenant. Get started with create a policy configuration. For this demo, I'm going to be creating a policy configuration that is targeted at a group of users who belong to the HR organization in my company. I give this policy configure name. I choose a scope. And then I choose the HR group that is already available in Azure Active Directory and create the policy configuration. Once the policy configuration is created, Security Policy Advisor will start to analyze how users in HR use Office applications and come back with a set of tailored security recommendations that can improve the security posture of these users without impacting their day-to-day -day productivity. You can see now that the policy configuration is created and that recommendations are being generated. I'm going to refresh this page. Now you can see Security Policy Advisor has come back with a set of recommendations for the users in this group. You can follow the link to the recommendations page 
where you will see a list of policy recommendations, the applications at which they're targeted, as well as the pro estimated productivity impact if this policy were to be deployed to users in the group. Now, this is information you've never had before. Now, by default, Security Policy Advisor only surfaces recommendations with a low productivity impact. Specifically, a policy recommendation is only shown if it impacts less than 5% of users in the group. We've heard from customers that they would like the flexibility to be able to see all the recommendations generated by Security Policy Advisor, even those with high productivity impact. We've now added a toggle per group where an admin can enable Security Policy Advisor to show all recommendations, even those with high productivity impact. Now that I've done this, you can see Policy Advisor has added one new recommendation to this group that has a significant productivity impact if it were to be deployed to this group. For the purpose of this demo, I want to deploy two policies to my users to protect them against the campaign that I just talked about earlier in the deck that abused macros and used the SLK file format. The first policy I'm going to deploy is to block macros from running in Excel and for documents that come from the internet. I can locate this policy here, click into it for more details where I can see rich information about what is the threat being mitigated and how the policy can help against this threat. Policy Advisor also shows me how many users I could possibly impact by deploying this policy to the group. And for macro policies, Policy Advisor pulls information from Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection on users in this group who may have been actually targeted by an attack with a malicious macro. All useful information for me to make an informed decision. From here, deploying this policy to a user is as simple as a click of a button, sort of anticlimactic. And with that, the policy is on its way. This is where Policy Advisor uses the Office Cloud Policy service to push these policies down to a client, no matter which device the client is on. So if a user from HR signs into an Office client on any device, even if that device is a home device that's not joined to your work environment, as soon as they sign in, these policies are flowing down to that client. The other policy I want to deploy is to block Excel from opening diff and SLK file. I'm going to locate that policy in the list, see if it's been recommended. Ah, I see that here. I can drill into this policy to get the same level of information. And again, deploying this policy is as simple as clicking a button and with that, the policy is on its way to your users. Once policies have been deployed, you can keep track of them in the Applied Policies tab. And at any point in time, drill into a deployed policy to see the impact it's having on your users. You will see information on how many users are actually being blocked since the policy has been deployed. And since we released, we've made a number of significant improvements that cut down the latency for how fast this information gets refreshed, bringing it down from a starting latency of six to eight hours to under an hour right now. Security Policy Advisor is generally available to all Microsoft 365 Enterprise customers. And we are excited to see it become a crucial part of your security strategy in this new remote work environment. Now let's look at how Microsoft 365 applications integrate with security solutions across the Microsoft Threat Protection stack to provide your users an advanced protection experience. The first capability here is Application Guard for Office, which is the next evolution of the Protected View Sandbox. Application Guard for Office is a fully virtualized local sandbox that is used to isolate untrusted Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents away from the user's system. Application Guard for Office is a great example of the integrated security value that Microsoft 365 enables. It brings together Office, Windows, and Microsoft Defender ATP to provide customers an experience that, one, protects users from attacks, both known and unknown, by containing the damage they can do, enables users to get work done while keeping a file isolated to minimize their risk, and three, provides visibility to your defenders 
when malicious activity is detected inside the sandbox and allows them to hunt and remediate this threat across all other endpoints. We've been working closely with a set of customers since the beginning of the year in a limited preview, and we are now excited to bring Application Guard for Office to a public preview with a number of experience improvements thanks to feedback from our preview customers. The second capability is Safe Documents. Safe Documents is a new capability that complements the document isolation solution in Microsoft 365 applications, whether that be Protected View or Application Guard for Office. It provides an additional layer of defense for scenarios where a user feels the need to trust an untrusted file and open it outside the sandbox. In other words, it becomes a safety net for both you and your users against risky decisions. Safe Documents taps into the intelligent security graph by verifying a file against the latest detections in the cloud before a user is allowed to open a file outside the sandbox. By doing this, it enhances the protection value to cover more scenarios, no matter how the user has received an untrusted document. It also enhances the security graph with new intelligence that can only come from Microsoft 365 applications. Safe Documents integration with Protected View is now generally available, and we are also enabling this integration with the new Application Guard for Office Sandbox. Here's a conceptual overview of Application Guard for Office and Safe Documents. On a device where Application Guard is enabled, when a user works with documents that are part of the Enterprise Trust Boundary, let's say a document that the user has created or has received from one of their colleagues, these documents continue to open normally in Office with full functionality. However, when a user opens a document that is not part of the trust boundary, for example, a homework assignment that a user needs for their child, Office automatically opens these documents in a fully virtualized sandbox environment that is isolated away from the user system by Hyper-V. It essentially brings the same isolation technology that is used for hosting multi-tenant workloads in the Azure cloud down to the user's machine, but it does so in a manner that is seamless to the user. To the user, the experience looks like just another window on their device. The user can continue to work with this document inside the sandbox, performing actions like printing the file, making edits, and saving changes. However, the document has limited access to the user's system and no access to the user's identity. Now that the document is isolated in Application Guard, if for some reason a user wants to open this document outside the sandbox, the file will go through Safe Documents. When Safe Documents is enabled, the file is first verified against the Microsoft Defender service in the cloud, which has the latest detections. Only if no threats are found from the scan, the document is allowed to open outside the sandbox. If threats are detected when a file is scanned, the user is notified and the document is kept isolated inside the safe confines of the Application Guard container. Now let's look at Application Guard for Office and Safe Documents in action. Note, this demo is running live code and you will see an actual ransomware payload execute to demonstrate the effectiveness of document isolation. In this demo, I'll show you how Application Guard for Office and Safe Document can keep your users productive and secure. Now imagine your users working from home. They're balancing work and life. And as part of that, they may be working with a lot of office documents, some of them coming from work and others personal. Now in this example, this user may have a need to fill out this medical claim form, print it and submit it. Or maybe they're just trying to print out a class assignment for their child's remote instruction class. Now, these are examples of documents that are not part of your enterprise trust boundary. When a user goes to open these documents, Office automatically opens them up in Application Guard. The experience to the user is seamless. There are specific cues in the application that let them know that the file is opened in Application Guard. But you'll notice that they don't see the familiar yellow bar with an easy button to exit, and the document is no longer read-only. The user can get right down to what they want to do, which is fill out some information,
and try to print this file. From here, the user can find their local printer and issue the print command. All from within the safe confines of the application guard sandbox. Now, if for any reason the user needs to exit application guard and open this document outside application guard, they can do so by navigating to the backstage and choosing remove production. When the user does this, they're asked to save their changes. They're asked to confirm their action that they do want to remove protection, but the protection doesn't stop there. If you have safe documents enabled, this file is first verified against the Microsoft Defender AV service. And only if no threats are found is the document allowed to be opened outside the application guard sandbox. Now we've seen how application guard for office and safe documents can help users stay productive while being secure. Users can continue to work with documents that are not part of your enterprise trust boundary within the safe confines of the application guard sandbox without putting themselves or your enterprise at risk. Now let's see how this behavior pays off when a user encounters a malicious document. Now here, the user has received a file that is supposed to contain updates on COVID, but in reality is malware. Now, this is an example of an attacker trying to exploit the user's fear and lure them into compromising themselves. The user is concerned, and so they go ahead and open this file. Now Office automatically opens this file in Application Guard because it is not part of your enterprise trust boundary. Again, the experience to your user is seamless. There are specific cues in the application to let them know that the file is open in Application Guard, but otherwise, they can go ahead and start reading this file. In the background, the malware in this document is trying to encrypt all the files in the user's system. Now, you'll see a ransom note pop up to demonstrate that. And there you go. The malware in this file thinks it has succeeded in encrypting the files in the user's system. But in reality, because this file is isolated in Application Guard, it has not been able to touch any of the files in the actual system. Now, as long as the user keeps this file in Application Guard, they're protected from any compromise. But if for any reason the user decides to open this file outside Application Guard, because they're being social engineered to do so, and go through the process of removing application guard protection, safe documents kicks in and lets them know that the file is unsafe, providing another layer of protection to keep your users safe. Safe documents is now generally available and we are excited to see you enable this capability to provide an additional layer of defense for your users. Application guard for office is now in public preview and we're eager to see you preview this groundbreaking functionality and provide us with feedback that can help us make it better. We hope you're excited about all the security capabilities that we've discussed in this session today. Here is a slide that summarizes their availability for your reference. I'd like to close by reiterating how Microsoft 365 applications can keep your users secure and productive anywhere through a series of layered defenses starting with security mitigations that are turned on out of the box, security policies that you can discover and deploy to your users on any device, and finally, integrated protection that brings the best of Microsoft Threat Protection to wherever your users work. Next steps, stay current. That is the first and most important step in staying secure. And I'm not just talking about security patches, but also being current on your functional updates quickly and intelligently boost the security posture of your remote workforce with Security Policy Advisor and Office Cloud Policy Service. And finally, enable safe documents and preview Application Guard for Office to unlock the integrated security value that Microsoft 365 has to offer.
Thanks for tuning into the session. Stay safe and stay healthy.